Welcome to the Sober Q podcast. Hi, my name is Andrea and I'm an alcoholic. The question is, how do we choose the person or people to hear our inventory? In my second year of sobriety, I started to wonder whether or not I really wanted to be sober. I started to wonder whether this sobriety caper was all it was cut out for. In fact, I was starting to wonder whether I really even wanted to be alive anymore. I was much like I was at the end of my drinking. Absolutely crazy. Now the thing is, I thought that being sober was going to be enough. I thought that going to one little meeting a week in my little town was going to be okay. I thought that if I'd read the book, then that was what was going to make me feel better. And time showed me that if I didn't do something about those big cloth banners on the wall or put them into my life, then I was getting progressively more and more ill, sick, insane, absolutely batshit crazy. The beautiful male members of my local meeting were trying to suggest to me that I needed to get to more meetings, meetings with women, meetings with other people that I could relate to or identify with. And I started to hear those messages and ended up at a couple of women's meetings. I also ended up at the first convention that I'd ever been to in Melbourne. And the message I kept hearing was, get a sponsor, do the steps. Get a sponsor, do the steps. At about the same time, we had an anniversary meeting and a woman got up and shared about how resentments had the power to kill alcoholics. At this time, I was in an absolute emotional disorder. I was struggling with relationships at home and at work and I listened to this woman and I was identifying and I had to rush up after the meeting and speak to her. Of course, she was to tell me that this information was not something she had made up. It wasn't new. It was all in the big book, something I had failed to be able to see. The words, get a sponsor, do the steps, came true to me right then. I needed to ask somebody to help me, somebody to take me through those steps, somebody to help me sort out these problems that I had in sobriety. There are a couple of women, one whose sobriety I really admired. She talked strongly from the floor. She had a drinking story that was much like mine. She had children about the same ages as me, And I figured that we were very much alike. Now to summon the courage to ask her, would she please sponsor me? And that's it really. I'm not thinking about sharing my inventory at step five. I'm actually asking someone for the very first time to help me so that I'm not doing it on my own. Somebody who will listen to me and tell me where my thinking is askew or where self has run riot. My sponsor uses the big book, Alcoholics Anonymous, and has a solid program in her life. She is sponsored. Her sponsor has a sponsor. I have auntie sponsors. Any one of them I can ring if my sponsor is not available. These people have become my family, my family in sponsorship in AA, and I feel that I could share any inventory with any of them. I trust them and I know they care for me. And that's what it's all about. I wasn't thinking about sharing my dreadful truths in the very beginning. I was looking for somebody who would care for me the way I needed to be cared for. If you would like to share your experience on a recovery question, visit the SoberQ podcast website at soberq.com. Thanks for listening.